Did Jason Derulo and Jordan Sparks really call it quits? Ariana Grande's new SNL promo really got us laughing. And who is the mystery lady in Justin Bieber's new romantic Instagram picture? Keep it here for these stories and more on DHR. Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Mm -hmm. It is a new day. We are in Hollywood, and we are a little bit rundown because we went to the Not Scary Farm last night and rode roller coasters to like one o'clock in the morning. It was so fun. It if you so were fun. at Not Scary Farm, you definitely got a high five from me. So good. But even though we're tired, the news doesn't stop because of us. No, it doesn't. And we're starting with today's top story, and it's kind of sad. <laughs> So nobody's dead, so that at least that's a positive here. But uh, we have a new breakup that Whoa. is breaking my heart, I too. I thought they were going to get married. I know. Jordan Sparks and Jason Derulo, Ooh. they are no longer an item. They've been together for about three years, and yes. we really were expecting an engagement coming. But E! News reported yesterday that they have called it quits. Um, but it is amicable, mm -hmm. and these two are supposedly still friendly, which is fine, I guess. If you're going to break up, that's the best way to be. But um, I don't know. Something about the situation is a little fishy to me. Jason's going on tour, and there is a conspiracy theorist in me that thinks yes, that's right. that maybe this is all like a publicity stunt so that people will buy tickets to a show. Like a Beyonce and Jay-Z sort of uh, situation. I kind of hope it, it is that so that they get back together afterwards. I do too, but then it also kind of makes me depressed to think that someone would mess with their personal life yeah. just for the sake of selling some tickets. It happens in Hollywood Ooh. though. And moving on to some happier news, oh, we've yeah. got this really awesome promo featuring Ariana Grande and Chris Pratt for the 40th season premiere of Saturday Night Live. Take a quick peek. You know, Ariana, I work out to your music. It gets me pumped. Oh, well, that's crazy. You know, I'm such a big fan of your movies. Whenever I can't sleep at night, I watch them and they make me so, um, tired. Ariana, do you want to translate for our Spanish viewers? I'm actually Italian. Mm, that's, no, that's what I meant. Do you... Um, what I meant, do you want to pizza? Okay, it's like awkwardly funny, right? Yeah, I agree. I think it's, I, I kind of wish I saw more of Ariana's personality. She kind of came across as like a ditz. I think that was part of the whole skit. Totally. And usually these promo videos are a little bit longer, so they only have the two back and forth. I was like, why is that the case? But um, I'm really excited. Chris Pratt's one of my favorite people in the world right now. Mm -hmm. I met him, he's amazing. I also hope that she surprises us with a little skit in there. I most definitely think she will. I mean, she was an actor first and foremost. I know. That was kind of her first entry into this industry was Sam and Cat, Victoria's blah, 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 blah. So she's totally going to take advantage that she has this whole acting side to her. Mm -hmm. She's going to do a skit. Yeah. I'm, I'm putting it out there. So in couples news today, we have to wish a huge congratulations to Snooki, who just had her second baby. baby it's two. a little girl. She took to Twitter to announce the big news. She said, quote, so happy to let you know we had our beautiful daughter this morning, Giovanna Marie Laval, 6.7 pounds, full head of black hair and perfect. Of course, she now joins Lorenzo mm -hmm. in the sibling pool of this cute little family. And I think that th this is like a perfect like way to round out your little family. I love that Snooki has changed her <laughs> brand. She's definitely yeah. the whole mom, the fitness expert kind of thing going on and I'm really happy for her. I'm very happy for her too. Love is in the air, yeah. you know. Enjoy your family, enjoy the time and oh. hopefully we get a photo at some point yeah. so we can go, you know, oogle over the cuteness of the new baby. But uh, congrats to the couple. And now guys, it is time for what's trending and ooh, we're asking a difficult question here. Uh, is this Instagram photo that Justin Bieber just posted Selena Gomez <gasps> or Yovana Ventura? OMG. And of course, after much thought and consideration, we decided, and with a shout out to I Love You Selena at Hopakil. Yes. Who tweeted me and was like, hey, I have the deets. She mm -hmm. was like, I know this is Selena because of the tattoo in the photo right on her back. You know, Selena has that tattoo exactly. right across her back. And I didn't even notice that, but no. now that this viewer pointed it out, you are so right. I had already decided it was Selena because, you know, just looking at the, the body shape and everything. <laughs> like, I feel like you know, her. I feel like her booty, sorry, it's on display in this photo, uh -huh. is a little bit bam in your face, you know? <laughs> and Selena, like we've Selena. really watched Selena's booty transform over the years. <laughs> and I just think 
it at side by side, I do think it's Selena. Um, and Sorry, we had to guess. We had to, I know. you know, put our detective hats on. And what does this mean, though, if Jess yeah. is posting this photo? First of all, it's kind of skeezy, okay? It's her butt. Like, why not put her face in it? If you're dating her, don't disrespect her by putting a photo it's of her true, butt on your face. But Instagram. it looks like a posed photo, to be fair. Uh, like, good it looks like she's kind of stopping to smell the roses and posing for the cameras. Mm. And it really poses the question, if it is Selena, uh -huh. like, are they together? Or are they not? Because there's all these rumors going around, you know, that Justin was spotted with Yovana at iHeartRadio not too long ago. Yeah. But then he just posted this photo, who we are thinking is Selena. Yeah. So what is going on? So much young love drama I can't even handle. I know. time of the week where we get to pick our cleverette of the week and then throw out some shout outs. I'm going to start here very quickly with Priscilla Palma who who really gave some really sweet comments, but she noticed that I had a University of North Carolina mug this oh, past wow. week. She's got detective eyes. I can't yeah. believe you noticed that. I went to school there. Very sharp. I'm very proud of you. Also, this week on the show, one of our shows, I don't know if you noticed or not, but Misty and I kept saying like a secret <laughs> word, thinking we wanted to see if you guys would catch it, and two people call it, caught it. Uh, Ileana <laughs> Dalvo said, um, I didn't notice until the end that Misty won the meow contest. Snickerdoodle, ha ha ha. Also, Nick Canny said two things. What was with the snickerdoodle throughout the video? And then he talked about the woman with the three boobs that she may be an AHS fan, which was really funny. Oh, yeah. So thank you for those comments. You have a couple, don't you? Oh yes, I do. Oh, and I want to give some shout outs to the guys out there who I are watching. Because this show, it's for girls, it's for guys, it's for everyone. Exactly. So shout out to Jonathan Romero who says, I am a guy and I don't usually ever care for celebrity, but these girls are so fun. <gasps> be so happy. Yeah, that's really sweet. And then another shout out to Lord Anubis who said, hi everyone, I just checked my calendar and I can't believe I've been watching Clever News for a year now. Greatest YouTube channel ever since I've subscribed. Wow. I've never missed an episode ever. I love you. And P.S. We're pretty sure it's the one year anniversary of this DHR. show, DHR on Clever News. So talk about perfect timing. And thank you guys for making it a year with us. Amazing. Um, okay, let's go to Clever of the Week. Finally, this was really hard. Dun, there were a dun, lot dun, of great dun. comments, but we want to give it to Emma Simmons, who really took the time to comment about every single host that works here, even though the, you guys don't normally host on DHR. She was like, I'm going to give it to you. She talked about Miriam, me, Dana, Misty, uh, Jocelyn and she just was she's like I really want to be noticed because y'all are just amazing and I don't know what I do without you you entertain me solve my rumors inform me about what's going on in Hollywood and more thank you uh, that's honored. really really sweet and Erin you are so entertaining am I and Dana yeah. you are so cute I totes agree you're cute thank you you have made my day <laughs> All of our days, actually. Okay, that is a wrap on this TGIF episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. But you know how this goes. We want to know what you think before you leave us. So let us mm -hmm. know in the comments. Chat with us about what you think about Ariana Grande's promo. Do you think she's going to be doing a skit? And are you going to watch SNL? Yes. And we want you to really look at this photo that Justin Bieber Instagrammed out and let us know. Do you think it's Yovana or is it Selena? Think, think, think. Let's chat about it. Play detective in the comments, my <laughs> friends. You guys are so awesome. You we really love are. you so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Dana and I have the best time of our life. And we will see you on Monday, my And friends. have an awesome weekend. It's Friday, Friday, kicking it on Friday on the Daily Hollywood Rundown, yeah. of course. Now, if you want more where that came from, then click on that video box right there to catch yesterday's show. And friends, of course, subscribe to our channel before you go. Bye.